What man? The one that bumped into you, or pretended to bump into you. This is a very busy drugstore, and we live in San Francisco. There's not a lot of room, but with a number of people and all. Well, that's very tolerant. I admire your attitude. But I think his behavior was inappropriate, and not in any way accidental. Whose behavior? The man. The one you were giving the benefit of the doubt to. The one whose behavior you ascribe to congestion. Well, that's where you've got me stumped. I just don't know which man you're referring to, or what exactly he did, although I'm becoming interested. Interested? How do you mean? I guess I'm interested in the man you noticed. In what way? Well, could you start with a description? What type of description? For instance, what did he look like? He was portly. <laughs> was he indeed? I have to say I've never been one of those women who rolls out a man just on account of a little extra weight. Given his size, it's even more baffling that you remained unaware of his obnoxious behavior. Well, my eyes have never been big. I suppose I'll have to let the whole thing pass, particularly since you're not upset. Yes, it hardly seems worth wasting energy on, but I would appreciate it if you backed up a bit. After all, we are just strangers talking, and your body language is starting to feel rather intimate. Oh gosh, sorry. I thought I was a good two feet away. <laughs> Perhaps you possess that type of dynamism that makes you feel closer than you actually are. Do you, do you really think so? Entirely possible. And I am a bit of an expert. On what? Male energy. <laughs> there he is. The man who bumped into you. He's over there by the tortilla chips. Oh, yeah. That's Wilfred, my husband. We just got pitched this morning down at City Hall. Your husband? Oh, I'm, 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 ter I'm terribly sorry. 